welcome to Nursing with Professor B. My name is Bridget. I have a master's degree in nursing education. I'm also a family nurse practitioner. I'm so excited to bring this video to you today. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that gets excited about teaching you how to make math simple. I'm a nerd like that, but I'm super excited to show you how to conquer dosage calc in nursing school. So I'm going to teach you the method using dimensional analysis. I'm gonna show you my ABC method it's as easy as that. It's as easy as ABC and you just plug and play. All right, before we get started, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn on that notification bell. It helps me tremendously. And if you get value from this video, then make sure you share with your friends. Make sure you stay till the end because I'll be offering uh, something special. All right, without further ado, let's go. Okay, how to set up dimensional analysis step by step. So I always want you to write OA and then the question mark. And O is what's ordered? What has the healthcare provider ordered? A is what's available. And then for the question mark is what unit of measurement are we looking for? For example, are we looking for milliliters, milligrams, or units? The reason why it's important to write this down is because of my ABC method. So whatever we're looking for is going to carry down here to the A. And then whatever is whatever it is we're looking for is going to go on top is the numerator for this fraction. It's going to go on top. B is going to go on the bottom. C is always going to be what's ordered. Let me give you an example. The healthcare provider orders 180 milligrams of phenytoin orally every eight hours. The label reads 250 milligrams per 5 ml. How many milliliters will the nurse administer per dose? What's ordered? It's 180 milligrams. So that's going to be here. That's our C, which goes here. What's available? 250 milligrams per 5 ml. So that's what's available. And it can go either way. It can be 5 ml over 250, or it can be 250 over 5. It all depends how we're setting this fraction up based on what unit of measurement we're looking for. And what are we looking for? We're looking for milliliters. So milliliters is going to go here in the A spot, and then milliliters is going to go here. So let me show you what it looks like. Here's what's ordered. Here's what we have available. We're looking for milliliters. So milliliters is going to be before the equal sign. And it's a plug and play. Very easy. So if we put milliliters here, this, this will always match what's on the left side. That's how you know you're doing it right. So for example, if milligrams was here, then you would have put milligrams here. But we need milliliters. So we're putting milliliters here and we're putting the milliliters here on top. These come together. You can't separate these numbers. It's not like you're going to pick five and then 180. These are a combo deal. Think of them as like new lovers that just met and you can't separate them. All right. So because what matches, what unit of measurement in this fraction matches and five, five matches with the milliliters. So I'm going to put five here. And does 250, does this unit of measurement match what should be here? Yes. So it's going to be five over 250. And then if you have units of measurement that are across from each other, you can cancel them out. So in order for me to be able to cancel out this milligram, I have to put it over here. So this will cross out. So I'm going to put 250 here, and then you're going to put 180 here so that you can cross them out. So this is what it will look like when we fill in it's all plug and play so milliliters we have our a so a is going to go here five milliliters over 250 because this is the combo deal a and b they go together and then we have milligrams that we need to cross out how can we cross them out they would not cross out milligrams can't cross out if i put it over here at the bottom milligrams only crosses out if i put it here so if i put it here what other number do I have that's been supplied that contains milligram? And that's 180. So I multiply five times 180 and it's 900. 
multiply this across, it's 250. When you have zeros, you can cancel that. So you divide 90 by 25 and you get 3.6 mLs. And this is why I love dimensional analysis because it's super easy. It's just plug and play. You just plug in numbers. As long as, you, as, long as you've set up your units of measurement correctly, you will always get the right answer. Let's do one more example. The healthcare provider orders Ketorolac, 30 milligrams IM every six hours. The Ketorolac label reads 15 milligrams per milliliter. How many milliliters will the nurse administer? Again, plug and play. Start with the first step. What's ordered? 30 milligrams. What's available? 15 milligrams per one ml. What unit of measurement are we looking for? Milliliters. So milliliters is going to be our A. So if we put if we put our A here, our A here is going to be the one. And this goes with 15. So we're putting the 15 here and we're multiplying it by something else that will cancel out, which has to be the 30. So one ml over 15 milligrams, right? Because one milliliter contains 15 milligrams. We're putting the 30 up here because we need to cancel these units of measurement out. 30 divided by 15 is two milliliters. Again, if you follow this method, you cannot go wrong. So once again, to reiterate, whatever you're looking for is going to go in front of the equal sign. In this case, it's milliliters. Then whatever is here, we're going to put on top here as the numerator. And we get that number by looking at what's available and seeing like, oh, okay, this has an ML. So I'm gonna put that ML on top of here. And then this has milligrams, I'm gonna put that here. All right, this also has milligrams and we need to cross this out. So I have to put this on top of here so that it cancels out. So again, super easy, super simple. All right, thank you so much for staying until the end. If you stayed till the end, I have this special bonus for you. If you send me a screenshot that you subscribe to my channel, that you like the video and you turned on the notifications, I can send you a link to this PowerPoint. Just email me at Bridget at nursingwithprofessorb.com. I recently got my official email. Your girl is super excited. <laughs> So if you're interested in, in more coaching for dimensional analysis, I've started offering private coaching and group coaching. You can email me again at Bridget at nursingwithprofessorb.com for pricing information. And I do individual coaching and then um, of groups up to four. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Drop a comment below if this helped you. Bye.